Hey, it's your drama, and today we're covering a subject that I get asked fairly frequently, and that's about alcohol and testosterone, okay? And the two questions that I get asked the most about alcohol and testosterone are, number one, um, does consumption of alcohol lower your natural testosterone? And number two, if you use injectable testosterone, TRT, does alcohol interfere with injectable testosterone, okay? And so I went in search of the answer to this uh, question when I first started on TRT because, again, guys, just like I tell you, I'm not a purist. There are occasions where I do like to sit down and have a drink, and so I wanted to know the answers to this myself. So, number one, does alcohol interfere with your natural testosterone levels? The answer to that is kind of. It's not directly affected, but it's a byproduct. Well, let me explain that. So, your body, your endocrine system, releases all the things that it needs to repair itself when you hit REM sleep, basically, for the most part, okay? So your body goes into a repair state when you get into REM sleep. And alcohol, believe it or not, is a stimulant, all right? And because a lot of people, when, they're, when they go to bed after consuming alcohol, they have a stimulant in their system that they're trying to wear off. They never can actually get to a good level of sleep where the, where the endocrine system decides to go ahead and start the repair factor. So it may, and I'm not saying it does, and it would, and you know, there's a lot of factors that go into this body weight, consumption amount, you know, type of alcohol, all those other things, but it can possibly interrupt your sleep pattern so that your body doesn't go into its repair, all right? So it can interfere with natural testosterone because Again, the body releases this when you go into a sleep, and if your body never registers that you're in the, the sleep you need in order for it to release everything from the endocrine system, it can interfere with that process, all right? So, now if you're chronically drinking, if you drink, you know, pretty much every day, then I imagine that over time, yeah, that absolutely is going to affect the amount of testosterone your body naturally releases, and therefore you would have a condition. Not directly because of the alcohol and the testosterone, but as a byproduct of poor sleep, okay? And again, body heals itself when you're sleeping, okay? Can you imagine if the body tried to start healing itself as you were walking around still working muscles and moving things? It's just not how it works. Body repairs itself while you're sleeping. Bad sleep habits can interfere with the natural release of testosterone, all right? So the second question, does alcohol interfere with injectable testosterone? No, it doesn't eat up. It's not like the alcohol goes in your body and it starts consuming the injectable testosterone that you're taking. But again, alcohol interferes with the sleep process, all right? And that injectable testosterone that's floating around in your system is waiting for you to go to sleep to work on repairing the muscle tissue. So, short of it is, does alcohol interfere with testosterone? Yeah, it does. As a byproduct of poor sleep habits caused by the alcohol, the stimulant, okay? But does it interfere with it to a level that if you said, hey guys, you know, I went out here and I mowed the yard and it was a hot day and I decided when I got done, I was gonna have a couple beers with dinner and then I was gonna go to sleep. And you know, that was, a, that was the beers I was gonna drink for this week. You know, are you wrecking your TRT plan? Absolutely not. All right, this is about averages. This is about taking everything in stride and finding balance and everything, and it's about averages. So, no, a couple of beers after mowing a yard on a hot day is not gonna wreck your TRD. It's not like you should say, I shouldn't even give myself a shot this week. This is about averages, all right? But if you're chronically consuming alcohol every day, all right, and, and you just feel like you're taking TRT and it, you're not really quite getting all the effects out of it you want to, it's not necessarily the alcohol that's affecting the TRT. It's a poor sleep patterns, all right? Now this is ruling out the fact that you're drinking so much that you're actually starting to affect liver function and you're starting to really just damage the body, okay? And again, I think we can all as adults admit that if you drink enough alcohol, you can do some serious damage to your body and it would take a lot to repair that, all right? And TRT would help repair that, but it's not gonna be a saving grace in, in the case of chronic consumption of alcohol. Where the problem's gonna be is that the consumption of alcohol is gonna interrupt your sleep pattern. And I know myself and my wife has told me in the past that if I have a couple of drinks, 
and and you know i go to bed i'm more apt to snore again i've been sleep study i don't have sleep apnea but if i had a few drinks i'll end up more than likely snoring that night and then and then she'll say i know you had a beer last night or i know you had a couple drinks last night because you were snoring in your sleep and it gives me away every time all right but the alcohol itself doesn't necessarily do away with the testosterone the alcohol causes you either to have interrupted sleep by being a stimulant or in my case probably um, make me snore which then you have a, a form of temporary sleep apnea which never allows you to hit that REM sleep and therefore can interrupt the the body's processes of trying to repair it so all right so again subject I was really interested in when I first went on TRT because admittedly you know i like to have a beer here and there and you know i was really interested in the subject is you know if you go on trt are you forbidden for the rest of your life from having a drink here or there and the answer is no again it's about balance it's about moderation it's about you know trying to be overall healthy and overall healthy is finding that place where you know the averages of the good far outweigh the averages of the bad and, and you're working to progress yourself in a healthier lifestyle. So I hope that helps you. If you had any questions about that, again, I'm not speaking about the people who uh, take it, who consume alcohol to the level that they're actually damaging their body systems to a point where, you know, it's just, it's terrible. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but cirrhosis of the liver is a horrible disease to have. But if you're a person who chronically drinks alcohol, you know the the thing i would say to you is is that you're really affecting your sleep and you know if, if you go and you and you listen to any of these guys who are big on building muscle they'll tell you the three critical parts the three critical parts of gaining muscle and being healthier is number one your nutrition nutrition is king number two your workout program okay and then number three your sleep cycle those three things uh, you know all the all the guys who are out here who are who are big in uh, bodybuilding, weightlifting, and, and you know, and gaining muscle will tell you those three things are king. You take that sleep cycle out of there, and you don't allow your body to repair itself, then you're not doing yourself justice. All right. So I hope that helps. Alcohol is not forbidden while on TRT. Not the greatest idea to consume continuously because you're you're stimulating yourself number one, and you have number two the ability to cause yourself to have a uh, uh alcohol induced kind of a sleep apnea which would not allow you to get into repair state while on trt i hope that answers all your questions again there's a lot of information out there on the internet about this you got to kind of weed through it and look for the averages and uh and that's what i've done so if you guys have any other ideas about alcohol and testosterone put them in the comments below i'd be interested in hearing what your thoughts on that are and uh trick or drum i hope you guys have a good week